you run, dude, you go, get that exercise. I decided to change up where I was filming because I've been stuck inside. So here we are at a park. Before I start my story time, I want to tell you all another story time on top of the story time. It was a journey. I like was like charging my camera battery this morning because I was like all hyped up and then I hopped in my car and then I was driving to the park and then I pull in and then I turn on my camera and I like left the battery behind in the kitchen. And so I had to drive back to my house, get my battery and now I'm here. But I was like Snapchatting one of my friends and I was like, haha, like my stupid head just like left the battery at home. I gotta go get it again. And then so I came back and I went to take another Snapchat and I was like round two of filming. And I like looked at my screen and I was like, there's like a filter. Well, I was like, did I put a rainbow filter on this? And, and so like, I was like, no, I didn't do that. So I looked up and lo and behold, there's a rainbow above me. So that was really cool. I was standing under the end of the rainbow, no pot of gold. So essentially today's video, I'm going to tell you the story of my sophomore year so far because I've only done one semester. Yeah, so today is a too long, didn't pay attention to what Lauren was doing all semester. Here it is. So way back in August, I moved into my dorm, which is a double, and I'm living with Alyssa again, who you guys have met in previous videos. She was my roommate my freshman year, and now she's my roommate again. And it's this cute little dorm with a slanted roof. The room is so great, except for our bug problem. We also had a bee problem earlier this semester. It wasn't in our room, but it was a couple dorms down. So that was kind of terrifying, but it's such a cute little dorm. And so two days later, I started my sophomore year, which was crazy to think about because I feel like I just started my freshman year, but here I am. Once I finish next semester, I'll be like halfway done with college, which is crazy because then after college, it's like real world. A week after moving in, I pierced my ears. Oh, it wasn't my first piercing. It's like my second piercing, see? So for those of you who know me, I've been wanting to get my second piercings since I was maybe 16 years old and I finally did it now. I'm 19, it's three years later, but hey, it's the thought that counts. Piercing my ears was probably the first thing that I did. Like you could, you prove that you're old over 18 and then you could do it without a legal, like a legal guardian because you're now an adult. So like piercing my ears was the first thing that I did over 18. So at Villanova, you have to declare your major by the end of your sophomore year. And so I had declared communications at the end of my freshman year. And then within weeks of coming back to school, I ended up declaring my double major. I'm majoring now in Spanish and communications with specializations in media studies and public relations. And then I also declared a minor in sociology which was super exciting because I was like now I'm on a path and I kind of feel like I know what I'm doing in my life I don't but I feel like I do a few weeks into the semester I got super cheap Nile tickets so I went to go see him live which was really cool and because my first concert was a One Direction concert it like brought back these cute memories so I got to see him and Marin Morris performing live To kick off basketball season every year, Villanova ho has Hoops Mania, which is essentially kind of, I know other schools do like Midnight Madness, but Villanova does Hoops Mania, and so we have this show that like kicks off basketball season and hypes up the whole student body. Oh, fall break. Practice is over. We survived. At the end of October, we had the head of the Schuylkill Regatta, which is a really, really big regatta. I don't know how else to explain it, but really, really big. It had rained like every single day leading up to that week. So it was just like a big mud fest and it was really messy, but my parents came down to watch us race. Hey, hi Tyler. And Sullivan here. N-O-V-A, N-O-V-A, go Cats! Rachel actually came out to watch, which was really nice because she goes to Drexel, so she just came down. In rowing, we have bigs and littles, and so I ended up revealing myself on that day in a muddy tent where it was freezing cold. Hey! Hello, little! Hi! So on November 9th, the American Sign Language Club drove down to Washington, D.C., and we sightseed, sightseed? Am I 
dumb. And we went to Gallaudet University and then we actually watched Snow White and the Seven Dwarves performed in sign language and overall just an awesome experience. And then the following day we had, Sigma's had the multicultural extravaganza, which is a showcase that we put on. I emceed and I performed, so it was my first time stepping and strolling, which was a really fun experience. It was cool to like spend time bonding with the girls leading up to the show and learning it all, and then going out and performing, especially since I haven't done any perf anything performance-based in a really, really long time, because I obviously don't play flute while I'm at school, and so being on stage and performing was really fun. We had our first snow day, like like in early November, which was crazy. Then for Thanksgiving break, I ended up having not one, not two, but three different Thanksgivings. We celebrated Thanksgiving day with my dad's side. Then the Friday after Thanksgiving, I celebrated Friendsgiving with my friends. The Saturday I had Thanksgiving with my mom's side. I came back from Thanksgiving break and then we had to hit the ground running because we were going into finals season. On the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, we had Sigma elections and I got elected as president for the next year. And then that brought us into this month. I had a formal. And then finally that took us to finals. I lucked out once again. Last semester I had, what, seven papers and no sit down exams. Um, and again, this semester I had four papers, one sit down exam and one take home exam. So it was really nice and so now I'm home because I could leave after my only, my first and only sit down exam. And so that was my whole fall semester of my sophomore year. Thank you all for watching my sophomore fall semester in review. Too long didn't read edition. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.